happy review. We check for you. <sighs> so I'm here right now, Data and Merdeka. I was told by my producers to just wait for them. I have no clue, and the only tips I got educate about photography. Hey, morning, brother. Hey, morning, man. I'm the photographer from Shopee, and okay. I have something for you. So I got a paper here that says, pick a box. Where is the box, bro? Oh, there, bro. I'm only allowed to pick a box. I don't know which one should I go for. Nope, that's fine. You tell me to pick a box right now. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll have to go with this one. I'm excited, actually. It's the time of the day. We're about to unbox this. Let's go right. ahead and dive it. Whoa, X70 Pro. Why is this the X70? I've heard a lot of good review on it, actually. Oh. X70, oh, so it is different. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a card here. Shopee review, we check for you. Today's challenge. It does say you'll be given two themes that will be up to your own interpretation. What themes exactly? I have no idea. Man. Oh, wait, where did you came from? I'm gonna let you choose first. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. I'll go the middle. Better one. not trick me. Go ahead and open this up. Oh man, this is so nostalgic. First one I got reflection. Second one I got old school vibe. What is this reflection? Is it a reflection of my soul? <laughs> oh, the cringe! <laughs> I got shadow and weightlessness. So what do we have here? I got the black one. Whoa! Whoa, look Dude, at yours, man. Yours is way better, Shit. man. To be honest, I resonate with this color even more. No, you went with uh, swap uh, for a while and see. I like this color, man. It's really, really striking. Oh, you like it more? Yeah, yeah. It stands out. But yeah. I'm not swapping because uh, this uh, is the pro version. <laughs> so there are four lenses on mine. You have three. Yeah. I got the upper hand in terms of hardware. Let's go ahead and check what's inside the box. They even give a free case, man. Here. Jelly casing is always good. And they include earphone as well, oh. which we hardly see in yeah. a lot of companies these days, right? Yeah, that's a power brick. Standard type C mm -hmm, mm -hmm. power plug. Pretty straightforward. I'm excited to see who's gonna pay for lunch. Are you ready for it? Yeah, man. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not paying for lunch. So today, my challenge is weightlessness and shadows, but we will do weightlessness first. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's do, Let's this. do this. So we'll do one just normal walking. Like that. Oh, sorry, one more time. This is a bit slower. Why angle did that reverse? One, two, go! Yep, I have it. To cover the team for shadow, we have a nice rugged wing here. The shadow casts on you. We'll take a few ones. Ah, beautiful. One more on the swing. That killer look is nice. The camera is a bit slow because it's 40 megapixels, so it takes some time. We'll stand under the shade now. Wow, you're amazing! <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so I'm right now I'm trying to figure out the pro mode on this phone right here, just to take a photo of you in front of this tower with the fountains. Yeah, I want you to stand here. Wait, wait uh. One. Where's the water? <laughs> Did they switch it off? My creative brain is not allowed to work right now. Let's try this telephoto lens first. Can you stand here? All right. Keep going, keep going. Okay. It's nice. You're, you're, you're like being very free. I like it. That's it for this one. We're gonna go ahead and check out the other location. Because my theme is old school vibe and the model being right there brings us back to the 90s, you know what I mean? This place is a bit compact. What we decided to do is ultra wide angle so you can get a lot more space. So what I need you to do at the moment is just look at this camera through yeah. this reflection. I want to see you and your reflection. Three, two, one. Okay, yes, yes. I want to take Hong Kong, that kind of oh, feel. Okay. A few poses there. Yeah? Okay, one, two, go. One more pose, strong one. Nice. Looking, it's magic. I have to wait a while. Oh, I didn't know you can say cheese without pressing any button. I can use the main camera, you know. Even my big DSR camera can't do such things. Basically, it's to portray that immediate life in KL Center with a twist of the Beatles walking the crossroad. All right, now. I have one more photo to take and I'm really into portrait to be honest. I like the idea of portrait. So there are three modes to the portrait lens right here. There's one, two, and three. So I'm gonna take portrait with all three. Three, two, one. That's very mean, I like it. Now smile. Oh my God. 
gorgeous. All right. So we're back from our adventure. Ah. Show me what you got, man. Wait, listeners, I had trouble with it. It takes time to process, but I managed to capture a good picture of her as if she was Whoa, levitating. Bro, yeah. this is nice. Yeah. It's really beautiful, especially the blue skies. You can see everything. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to show mine now. <laughs> Old school vibe. Yeah. I think I got this. Pretty nice shot, which is this. Oh, one. looks very cool. That's for old school vibe. Yours, All the right. other one was? Shadow. Mm -hmm. So these are what I have to using the size oh. portrait mode. Fence shadow old cast on the model's mm. face, which is actually really beautiful. Beautiful shot. So how about yours? After seeing that, you think <laughs> I want to show mine? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you mine right now. Reflection. I think this is ah. by far the best shot of mm -hmm. reflection, mm -hmm. but it's nothing compared to oh. a professional photographer, like, you know. I'm just just lucky to get the X70 Pro. <laughs> the freestyle one, I did try to take something like the Beatles. Came out really beautiful, like this. Bro! <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess we know who's paying for lunch. <laughs> so I'm kind of embarrassed right now. <laughs> I'm gonna show you freestyle. I think this is the best shot for me. It's not the most creative. <laughs> it's a nice portrait, yeah. Compared to his, which was pretty well executed. I like that swirl that mm -hmm. it does on the side. You can even change bokeh level. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't only focus on the face to get the bokeh, right? If mm -hmm. you tap somewhere else and you change the bokeh level, mm -hmm. it can actually reduce the bokeh on the face itself. <laughs> I guess we all know who's paying for lunch. Thanks. Okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to wrap everything up, because we got an experienced photographer going against an average user. So we want to know what's his perspective like. Let's start with his first. It's really, really handy. You get professional quality, especially with the size portrait mode. I use it a lot during the whole shoot. Not only clean cut up, okay, you can actually select different setups by size. So you get very different, different look and feel. I'm an average consumer. The AI actually really helps you mm -hmm, into mm -hmm. taking better photos. You don't need to go manually. Everything just came out really nice. Nice. Video with the phones works really, really well. The yeah. quality is really, really good. The battery really lasted that long, even if we're using the camera app for a very long period mm. of time, yeah, which yeah. is really impressive. On top of that, I was using this phone under the bright sun and the screen brightness did a pretty good job as well with 120 hertz, man. Really, really smooth. From a photographer perspective, a little drawback from this camera, I would like right. to say. At certain mode, like the portrait size mode, the wide angle mode and the 40 megapixel, it takes some time to load after right. shooting. But I guess it's because it requires a lot of data after shooting, so mm. it takes time to process. The quality of the picture are right. really, really, really good. I tried the 50 megapixel and there was a lot of details in the photos. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. It was really nice. Color processing was pretty good as well. Yep. It does have its own... Small drawback yeah, to it. Yeah, small drawback yeah, yeah. to it. So yeah. it's no biggie. It's no honest. biggie, yeah. yeah. How about the macro camera mode? Yeah, so mine, mine it has a macro lens over here. So I did experiment with it. So I wanted to get a little bit creative with it. And I pointed out to one of our team's eyeballs. Mm. This was the photo. Pretty cool. Look at those eyes. Nice, uh. <laughs> this the, is the macro lens right here. The details though. Yeah. Very, 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 yeah. very sharp. Guess the price of this phone. Size lens, 120Hz screen, good battery life. I would say I would pay around 4500 around for, for it. <laughs> this is more on the flagship end yeah. of the Vivo mm -hmm. phone. I'm estimating it's somewhere around 3899 <laughs> <laughs> The accepted price is 2499 really affordable price. 120 hertz display with so many camera lenses yeah. inside like... Price of the X70 Pro is 3,200 Oh my! Shut up and take my money! It's really worth it, mm -hmm. I think, in terms of content creation, specifically on the photography department. Yeah, I would recommend this to new photographers, which they are not sure of what camera to buy and then they want to test out their skills and stuff, this is actually a good buy. So that is our review on the Vivo X70 and X70 Pro. Now, I'm always amazed with Vivo's capability of producing such awesome photos. The X70 produces amazing photos under the right hand. Now, imagine if that particular right hand has a grasp on the X70 Pro. Wouldn't it be more incredible? and amazing. Like I mentioned, that is it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos as well. Here at Shopee Review, we check for you. Lunch on you, eh? <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>